Hey everybody, I'm Amy. I'm Dan. And we are the Hustle Couple coming at you today with the ship with me. It's kind of chatty today. A little bit. Feel All right. a little chatty. It's Wednesday. We had a really good response to Monday's ship with us, so we're doing it one more time. We're gonna take you through everything that sold for us yesterday and today, this morning, uh, and show you how we pack it up, what it is, what it <laughs> is, what it was what it will be. Um, pack it up, pack it in. <laughs> what it's sold for and how much we paid for it. We're full-time resellers out of Dallas, Texas. If you are new here, thank you and welcome. Yes, we've had a lot of new people subscribe lately and we are very thankful. Happy you're here. Yes, all right, we're gonna get started today. It's 15 things going out, 14 on eBay and one on Poshmark. Yes. It's about so, normal for us. Yeah, let's do it. Let's see. So, Okay, so we're gonna break this down for you each time we do a ship with me. It's kind of a what sold a ship with me. We're gonna Combo, give you video. all of our tips and tricks, especially if you're new to eBay. I know a lot of people are making the jump. My biggest hot tip, hot tip. for today is do not get wrapped up in the reseller drama. Oh man, and there's lots of it happening. There's tons. Today. So what we did was we were like, we're not gonna get on Facebook. If you don't know, don't even go for it. Don't even go there. It doesn't apply to you. It's reseller drama. It, it is the biggest time suck in our industry. <laughs> you will get down the rabbit hole of everyone's comments on everyone's opinions on everything. Anyway, so we said we're not going to do that. We didn't do that. And we cleaned our office instead. And yeah, we, we condensed all of our inventory. We took that time that we would have spent scrolling and commenting, you know, all that. And we we're like, nah, we're just going to do work. Okay. And we did. Poshmark sale. The, the you one and only. Cut me off. I thought you were. Yeah, this wasn't the best sale. Transitioning, I, I, I thought that was like well, a natural break coming. There. <laughs> Rude. All right. Ooh, quick Bring pace. It in. I was just jumping Bring in where in. I thought I had the chance. All right, this, my friends, this is Mani from Giorgio Armani. I didn't know that this was a sub brand of Giorgio Armani until kind of more recently. But so, do you want to know what I think? Yes, please. I don't think anybody else knows that either. I don't either. Because the sell-through rate on this is terrible. Oh, so you're, we got very lucky is what you're saying? We sold this for $25 <laughs> on Poshmark, but we've had it for two years. Yeah, it's been a while. So, I don't, I don't really recommend this, even though it's part of Giorgio Armani. I, don't, I think people are like, who's Ooh. Manny? Exactly. <laughs> you know what I mean? Exactly. Like, I don't know. So, I'd be careful with this brand, just from our one experience. Yeah. That's all I know. I'll just tell you what I know. All right, this did sell on Poshmark, so you're able to use any priority mail packaging. So I'm just going to put it back in this box that I was storing it in. Fantastic. It's a regional rate box. A, and there you go. All right. All right, eBay, eBay, eBay. Boom. Spiritual Gangster. Uh, this was a retail arbitrage. And this is a good brand to look out for. I don't think it's as trending as it once was, but mm -hmm. it's still good. This one was really cute. Okay, <laughs> Spiritual Gangster. That's what the label looks like, y'all. Uh, and this one said, I don't know, follow your, I don't know, follow your dreams, dreams follow your heart, follow, follow your, your soul. Follow your soul. That's what it says. <laughs> Anyways, a tank top. It was new uh, and it sold for $23. Yep. It's not great. Actually, new without tags, so maybe it would have gone for more. I don't know. Yeah. But I did get a lot of interest in this and all the lowball offers you've ever seen in your life. We do also have people wondering about the size of these bags and stuff and where we get them. So we got these are nine by twelve Ziplocs. I, when it's thin and lightweight, like a t-shirt, fold it in half and I put it in a six by nine inch poly mailer. Um, the Ziploc bags we don't buy. We got them for free. It's the only reason we have them. I think right. if we were, when we run out, we're going to just buy like the, the roll tab with the little, you know what I'm talking about. With the adhesive? Yeah, with the adhesive because they're cheaper, they're thinner. These Ziplocs are like yeah. overkill for what we need and it's just a lot of plastic. Yeah. Oh. Okay, so this weighs, you have to weigh it. Four ounces, we'll write it on our sheet here and uh, that's it. Yeah, that's it. First we're, class. First class, you just need the weight. All right, wait, honey, honey. We're oh, doing a video. We're doing a video. I was squeezing all the air. Squeezing the air, y'all. Just... All right, these are Eskandar pants. Ooh. If you can look. Why'd you say that? Because they're good. Oh, I thought you meant they smelled. I smelled no. them. 
Okay, this is Eskandar. Look for this, y'all. Look like old lady pants, but y'all need to find this <laughs> at the thrift. You really, really do. You need to find it, Eskandar. But manifest it. Do whatever you got to do. Yeah. Uh, so these sold for $100, which, you know, we have them listed for, I think, $150, so that's okay. Yep. And the title that I put was Eskandar Ivory Drawstring Pants, Size 2, Bergdorf Goodman, Wool, Cashmere, England. And they were listed approximately two months. Oh, let's get a good sticker. Get That's a good nice. sticker. Nice. I like to put a sticker over the number. Just there you go. Just nice. These are going on a padded flat rate. Flat, padded flat rate. So it's they weigh more than a pound. And oh, are you sure? Well, they paid eight ninety nine for priority, and well, since they're they're going to Arizona's. We could put them in a box. Oh, I could put them in a regional, is mm -hmm. what you're saying? Mm -hmm. you know, I already pulled the thing. Let me see what a regional would cost. A regional would be $9.27, so oh, okay. it's still cheaper. Okay, good. So we always check. So if something is going to a state that's neighboring you or pretty close to you, you can check between the regional rate. This is once you get over a pound. Check between the regional rate and maybe a flat rate. Sometimes the regional can be cheaper. Yep. Not all the time. Like this time it was not. Okay. This is Eileen Fisher. This is a purse. And it's going to Fort Worth. So it's going to stay in this box. It sure is. This purse sold for $70. The title was Eileen Fisher 100% Cream Gray Linen. Girl, my title was messed up. <laughs> Shopper Large Bag Cloth yeah, Fabric. Look at that. That's it's nice. nice, right? That's nice. Yeah. I'm actually shocked you didn't want to keep this. Oh, this I totally always want to keep that. Bag. I know. I know. So this is going to Fort Worth, and we're in Dallas, so it's about 30 minutes from us. So definitely going to stay in this regional box. You'll be shocked how cheap this box is to ship this. This box to ship priority mail over to Fort Worth is eight dollars and thirteen cents. Eight thirteen. That's cheaper than a padded flat rate or a regular flat rate envelope. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right? I don't know, but no, a flat rate envelope is like seven bucks and something. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, it's pretty much on par, and you get a whole box. Yeah. So what's happening? I'm trying to. Should I try to in here? Yeah. No, just. I'm gonna do one of these. One of those. Okay. Yeah, this is too small. Oh. Okay. Oh dang. Ah. <laughs> oh, dang it. Ah. Okay. Yeah, this is a regional A box, and so is so is this. These are both regional A boxes. They cost the same amount. They're flat rate up to 20 pounds. One is just thin, and one is short and stout. Yeah. Here is my hand over here. Exactly. Is my <laughs> one of them's a little teapot, and one of them's not. Okay. They're, and and the, the yeah, they're flat rate, by, depending on zone. Yep. So. Yeah. So that's why. So going to Fort Worth is probably zone one for us. Depending on where you live, then it gets more expensive the farther away it goes. There you go. Okay, so always check. Mm -hmm. This is another Eileen Fisher piece. We sell a ton of Eileen Fisher. A whole, whole lot. Hot tip. Hot tip. If you have Eileen Fisher and it's not moving, what should they do? Adjust the price. Lower your price, people. This is Eileen Fisher Women's Size Extra Large Button-Down Coral Tunic, 100% silk blouse. And it sold for $26.99. Do you want to show? You don't want to see this? You may want to see it. $26.99 for 100% silk blouse. But you know what? It's not at my house anymore. <laughs> True. True. There you go. Cool. And plus shipping. On eBay, we charge shipping. So someone paid $4.99 to get this to their house. And $26.99, and we paid 3 bucks for it. So gravy with that. Yes. I feel like there's fuzzies in, like, floating Yeah, there. I think there might be. We did all of our inventory today, and it was so good because we were full. We weren't we were full, but, like, if we condensed, then we would have more room. And we had right. got so much room. So good. All right, this is a Skylanders. Yeah, we, we just go right into toys. We just look up stuff with barcodes. So I, don't, I got that in Denver. Yo, we need to get this. That's some nasties on there. Hold on, where did where does Goo Gons? Look, that's nasty. What? Where? It's all like crusties. Yeah. 
All right, this is the Skylander Trap Team. We have had this listed a long time, so... Oh, we almost dropped the Goo Gone. Oh, man, that would have been... Oh, I've done it before. I know what it would have been. <laughs> I've lived that life. That Goo Gone droppage life. I'm just using Goo Gone on a Q-tip to get this... It was some pretty nasty residue residue, you know what yeah, I mean? Sticker. Residue of the residue. Right. Because somebody didn't clean it right the first time, and it was sticky, and then it got some dirt on it. Yeah, it, it's real dirty. Yeah. I'm just, I'm just gonna make sure that we don't send that. Micro, oh my gosh, put. Oh, put, put the cap. Oh, oh no. <laughs> oh, see, I knew it was Jeez. going over. This is dramatic, you guys. You should have to pay for this content. I'm telling you. <laughs> Good. This is entertaining. Much better. Okay, great. We don't like to send stuff, you know. Did you show the not, people what this I, was? I really didn't because I don't really know what it is. His name is King Cobra Cadabra. Oh. So there you go. There you go. It had the box, which makes it slightly more valuable. It's not sealed, it's open box. So that's what it says. It sold for $15 plus shipping. So I'm guessing $4.99 shipping. Okay. You know? Well, that's a funny thing, isn't it? That is a funny thing. I mean, it is the Upper East Side. <laughs> I think this the next thing might be going to someone a little bit... No, no, different first name. Okay. No, I know this... This. Oh, well, you don't know this person. I don't know this person. I love looking at where things are going and who they're going to. All right. You think that's somebody, is that somebody well-known, possibly? I don't know. Okay. I'm going to have to look it up. <laughs> okay. Uh, seven ounces. That, right. So this is going first class, so I don't need to measure it. I just need to weigh it, meaning it's under a pound. That's a six by eight by four box, and we love them. They're very, very versatile. Very. Okay, this is a black shirt from Equinox, which is a gym that's really popular. We used to belong there, and then they had us... Ha captured they would not let us leave <laughs> yeah so don't join that gym if you ever want to escape it equinox if you're watching our reselling video it was rude rude dog we had to like jump through a million hoops even though we had moved and we were not near their gym anymore they were not having it we're like we can't go to your gym and they were like that sounds like a personal problem oh my god <laughs> Aggressive lint rolling. This thing was linty. Somebody listed this without doing the proper pussy. <laughs> Me. Me. <laughs> okay. I mean, it was very linty. I wasn't being like uber, you know what I mean? Yeah. Look at it. Oh, God. It's a big one. Big one. Oh, God. Oh. So the lint rollers we use here, you're, open you're, this. No, no you're no. doing the thing you said you weren't going to do. Okay, okay. You said you weren't going to do this. Okay, well, I <laughs> You were just going to... Called out. Called out? So, keeping you accountable. <laughs> all right. Um, Get away. Yeah, they didn't pay much for this. It's the Equinox gym shirt, and we got it for free, except that we paid for a year membership, so not really not that free. Not really that free. It's for $11. Okay. So, yeah. um, plus straight, shipping. Straight in the poly mailer for you, friend. There you go. There you go. And this is going to go first class as well. So the ticket is on. We have the, we have another one. So I got to Huh? We had two of them, so I left the ticket on the other one. Does that make sense? Oh, I did. Oh dose. yeah. I dose of the same size. That's weird. Oh, yeah, because they didn't have my size. Right. Rude, right? Because they were just like, oh, here you go. You don't care. I was like, I'm trying to resell this. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, just go ahead and give me a large. That's good. That's good. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> All right. The next one is, I just relisted this two days ago, and it had I not sold. I was about to squeak it, but people have dogs, so I'm not going to squeak it. Don't squeak it. This is the Puppet Company Sockets Green Monster Rainbow Hand Puppet Knit 16-inch plush. It sold for $14.41 plus $4.99 shipping. Look at this thing. Hand puppets, we sell the crap out of hand puppets. We really do. I don't know. They're why not all they created so equal though, so make sure to comp them. Anyway, I relisted him on eBay. I ended and sold similar, and he sold. 
there you go. Should we put something in there? Okay. You want to put them in plastic? Yeah, maybe. It's going to Atlanta. Uh oh. Hotlanta. Could be going to a to a production. You never know. A lot of, a lot of stuff true. being produced in Atlanta. It's true. I like to think everything that we sell is going to a production. <laughs> yes. Makes my work feel more impactful. Y'all, we got a big one coming up. Big uh -oh. one. Uh-oh. Oh, okay. That's funny. My elbow gets real dangerously close to my face. Sorry about that. Nine ounces. Oh, this big one. Okay, here's the deal. Y'all saw this in our haul video. You better have seen it in our haul video. If you didn't, you should go check it out. <laughs> go back and watch it. That'd be real nice. We had this listed a total of two days. This yes. is the Seinfeld Refrigerator Full Series box set. And here's the hot tips. Hot tips. Here we go. So there's a ton of these listed. There's also a ton of them... Huh? This is almost perfect. Slide it on in there. There's also a ton of them sold. So here's how you how I price this in order to move. We have a continuous sale. It's kind of a fake sale for 15% off going all the time. So I always price my items up. I hey. hey! I always price my items up knowing that the 15% is going to come off. And so this is worth about $89. What? This is a very thin box. Do you think that matters? But it is like... I don't think it matters. It's not going to crush, right? It's definitely not going to crush. No way is it going to crush. Okay. Right. I don't know. Uh, what was it saying? So it's worth about 88 to $99. That's what the average sale price was. And then there are some that were new that are worth way more. This is pre-owned. So I priced mine at $150. The discount came off. And then I promoted the crap out of it. <laughs> <laughs> and I then sent an offer for $111. I always send offers of multiple digits. Y'all, I'm telling you it works. People think it's lucky or something. <laughs> <laughs> and even though there was one price at $99, like this person could have bought it at $99, they bought ours at $111. Because you eBay eBay sends an email or a, like a notification and they're like your watched item is on sale plus you have this offer so it's a total of like 20% off or something whatever the math ends up to be mm -hmm. it's all psychological with people so we ended up getting more money they could have just bought it from someone else for less I don't know why they didn't I can't explain it I just do what I do <laughs> so if you can send out like a $77 offer or a $22 offer I swear Interesting. Every time. Interesting. Look at this. One hundred eleven dollars sold. Sold. Boom. And look at this nice box that's in. Yep. I try not to send out thirteen dollar offers. I don't do that. Like, look, eleven dollars. I did it with Equinox. Yep. Cool. Okay, so we gotta weigh that and everything. Oh, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta mail just, this baby. Put it you on just, the floor. You were just going for it. Oh my lord. This oh is yeah. Bad. Okay, this is nine. It's eight pounds thirteen ounces. Uh -huh. So we need to. Is Does this qualify options. for media mail? It doesn't because it's TV, right? TV shows don't qualify. There's something weird like that. I don't, th I th I don't think that's a no? thing at all. Because DVDs do. DVDs, okay. Then, yeah, okay. So it's 15, 9, 5. It's going to be... I think I charge $12.99 for a Can oh. you check? Yeah. Let me make sure that... We don't need to do something. This would be good for Cubic! No, they paid $5 for first class. So it's definitely going media. Definitely going media mail. No, I don't. That's why you bought mine. That's right. That's why. <laughs> a mess up. So we live list at night. There's a link below on a different YouTube channel. Please join us over there. And sometimes I'm talking. <laughs> Just no. talking. I don't really pay attention. <laughs> Whoops! That's all right. See, it still sold for a hundred bucks, though. We're yeah, still dude. like super profitable on that item. This is anthropology. If you see this little postage mark, uh, this is called postmark. It is. The brand is called Postmark. I, I see tons of people asking yep. what it is in many Facebook groups. 
And so it's not as popular as it once was. This only sold for $11, but again, you can see my pricing strategy. It works. <laughs> uh, it was cute. It was an Anthropology Postmark Navy White Peter Pan Collar Swiss Dot Women's Extra Small Blouse. I think that Swiss Dot is a great keyword. People love that. It's when there's raised dots. And then Peter Pan collars. People love a Peter Pan collar. I sold two Peter Pan collars today. One of them hasn't paid yet. But just so you know, maybe that's a theme. If you have Peter Pan collars, relist them. It's going around. It's trendy. Because two things in my closet with Peter Pan collars sold today, okay. But And they're also white and blue. I think nautical theme mm. stuff is selling. Yeah, we had a, stripe, a run on stripe stuff the other I day. I just think it might be nautical in general. Okay. This was given to me by my mom. Thanks, Tony. Thank you, moms. This is Alfred Dunner Petite Classics Animal Print Two Fur Sweater Women's <laughs> Size Petite Medium. The Two Fur. So we don't typically pick up this brand at the thrift. I'm sure you see it a lot. But if it's new with tags, I don't care what it is. I'll list it. And so I did. There you go. It's new with tags. It's very cute. Um, it's just the resale value isn't as high uh, with this brand. But a lot of people do love it. Okay. I wear it exclusively, so I'm all about it. This sold for $14 plus $4.99 shipping. There you go. Right. Yeah, and the, vast, the vast majority of our clothing stuff stays in the in, in the bag. We keep it in inventory in, and then it goes into a polymer. Boom. Okay. This is an Easter gift going out, I'm sure. Oh, of course, has to be. This little peeps. These peeps do quite well, actually. Their sell-through rate is incredible. This is just a little pink, I don't know. It's called, whoa. It's called 2006 Just Born Peeps Pink Polka Dot Bunny Rabbit Easter Stuffed Toy Plush, six inches. <laughs> So I use SEO on eBay, meaning search engine optimization, meaning I type in the words in the order that people would search for them. So the, the more important words are at the beginning. So it never makes sense. My titles do not, you know, speaking them out loud, they don't make any sense. <laughs> it's fine. They don't have to make sense. No, they don't. The, <laughs> this might be Easter girl. I don't know what this is. This is some either. cat. It's this some is, chocolate stuff and stuff. You know, Doc McStuffins does pretty well for us. I can't really figure it out, but this is machine washable, and it has a tag hey. to tell you so. All right. Uh, this is called Disney Doc McStuffins Whispers, the pink cat, kitten plush stuffed animal, six inches. Do you want to put her in a box or just... Just stuff her. <laughs> this sold for $8, and so did the uh, Just Born Peeps. Sold for $8. Yeah, get in there, friend. That's fine. Okay, this is weighing in at three ounces. Okay, this next thing is a classic trench coat. Ooh, we've had this thing for a while. We really have. We buy trench coats. I'm sorry? Excuse me. <laughs> uh, we buy trench coats on 99 cent day. No one goes to that section. We have a 99 cent day at one of our thrift stores once a week for a certain color, and we go straight to the trenches, and we just buy them every single time, no matter what the brand is, because it's such a classic silhouette that we know eventually it will sell. And it did. Get in here with the wind roller. It's gonna be. Which one? Where's it going? California. California. That's right. So this is heavy. Do they pay twelve ninety nine? I think I did. I always do these twelve ninety nine. Oh, perfect. Good mm -hmm. job, Amy. This was this is an old listing though. We, we didn't know. Yeah. We used to charge eight ninety nine for heavy things, and we got not burned. Nearly enough. Uh, yeah. So it's going to California. A regional box is not really advantageous. It's eleven twenty one for an A, but a medium flat rate is like thirteen thirty something. Uh, so we can check what it would cost in this, which is just a ten ninety five mailing box. Yeah. Let's try it. Okay. So with the trench, we don't need to wrap it in plastic because it's meant for rain. <laughs> In case you were wondering, uh, it sold for $25. It's not like 
you know, the most well-known. It's not a Burberry or anything. It's three pounds, two ounces. So. So I want to check the cost of that real quick. Okay. Three pounds. Can you read me the dimensions of the box, please? Yeah. Outer dimensions. Yep. 12.5 uh -huh. by 3.125 uh -huh. by 15.375. Okay, it's 15 bucks for that box. So always check your priority boxes. This is crazy. Yep. The difference. So the regional box is the cheapest. It is. That's, it's going to be tough to fit. But. Oh, oh. We will squeeze it. <laughs> yeah, I'll mean, stress wrap it if I have to. You could put it in the square one and like roll it. Yes, we could. Yes, we could. It looks so small. Yeah, <laughs> I know. I don't even know that. Do you think we can do it? Can we do it? I don't know. <laughs> it's a big ask here. He's a big ask. <laughs> All right. Trenchy McTrench coat. Going in. I think, I think we can do it. Not quite sure. We pack like we fly Spirit Air to Myrtle Beach all the time, and we always have to pack in these tiny suitcases because we're too cheap to pay for luggage. We're, get, we're getting good at this. Yeah, we are. Rolling, rolling, rolling. It's gonna be like. Oh yeah, you got this. Boom, roll it. Hashtag roll it up. <laughs> it's as soon as they open it. <laughs> Do not cut. Oh yeah, can you cut that? Yeah. yeah so how are they gonna open probably it? Probably write that up. Well, they can cut these and then like tear it. So but. cut at sides? <laughs> Like that? Yeah. Here. Cut here only. <laughs> All right. Okay. Oh, this last one's amazing. Okay, so this is something that I think our channel offers that maybe other YouTubers don't. Some perspective as to who is buying vintage or specialty items from your eBay store. I'm a professional costume designer and I buy a ton of stuff off, off of eBay. And it's not my money, right? So I'm just looking for what I need and I spend someone else's money and buy it. Yay! So we buy things like this. This is a leisure suit from the 1970s. It's it navy amazing. blue. And I looked at all the comps of sold and people underprice these things. Okay? Yeah. So if I need it for a TV show set in the 70s, I type in. This, this is actually. All right. Yeah, we're going to show you the. It's actually the leisure suit brand. Something's going on in here. It's the Leisure Baron by Le Baron Clothing. So vintage items don't have to be perfect. So anyway, it's over $200. And most people had theirs priced at like 50. Like, don't do that. <laughs> if you have a specialty item, price it what you think a person making a TV show or a movie will have in their budget, which is much more than the average person, you know, buying it for Halloween costume or something. Yeah. Because where else are they gonna get it? They're gonna have to go to the thrift stores and the vintage shops and hopefully find one in their size, you know? All right, so the other hot tip. Hot is, tip! <laughs> is to collect sewing kits at the hotel when you go to a hotel, because then you always have them. Like I'm using, I don't know, this is from the Plaza Hotel in Switzerland. <laughs> okay! But it normally comes with a little threaded needle, lots of different colors that you'll need. And I needed some blue thread, and here it is. So the vintage items don't have to be perfect, but there is some damage on this that we did not disclose. So I don't know what's gonna happen with that. I'm just gonna sew in the lining here. What I'm gonna do is see where the lining, the stitching has stopped, and I'm gonna tie it off. So that thing at least has a chance of staying 
here we go, here's the end of it. So I'm just gonna tie it off to hopefully keep that from spreading. And then I'm just gonna do a quick little whip stitch right here to sew this back on. Just takes a second. If you have some basic sewing skills, you can do a lot in helping out your clothes. got a message about a brioni saying funds will be forwarded tomorrow evening. We sold one. Only for a hundred though. Oh, the one with the hole. Yeah. Hey, that's still pretty good. Yeah. So we sold this brioni sport coat and it had a hole in the bag of it. We still sold it for a hundred dollars. That's how good that brand is. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, really though. Anytime you can sell something with a hole in it for a hundred bucks, I'm here for it. So that's another thing. If you have something really high end, you should still consider selling it, even if it's flawed. Right. Because people have tailors and they're not afraid to get stuff like that fixed. If it means that they can own. Yeah. If somebody's money. getting a $6,000 sport coat for a hundred bucks. Right. So. And we're making, we've spent four on it. So, you know, <laughs> yeah. everybody's winning. And we didn't want to spend to get it fixed. Though if we could have, but we would still have to sell it as altered. Yeah. So I'm not sure that the money... It's worth the price exactly for us, right. anyway, to get it repaired. Yeah. I know some of you guys in the comments are going to be like, give us a sewing tutorial because you've asked before. I hear you. <laughs> what I want to tell you, though, is it's very hard to sew on camera. Yeah, we'd have to spend some time special, special, setting up a specialty filming setup for that probably with like a really nice camera and a good zoom lens. I mean, but the problem is my multi, hand multi gets in the way. Setup. Yeah. Yeah. That's true that's, too. That's the other issue is that what I'm doing right now. I mean, you, even if you had a camera in here, my hands true. are going to be in the way, but I do want to, I did want to show you guys this just so you can see how if you do have some basic sewing that don't be afraid, just get in there, man. I'm almost done. Okay. Grabby grab. Just get a little bite. <laughs> That's what you want, just a little bite. This is the last stitch I need to do, I think. This okay. will hold it in place and be much better for the buyer. This is entertaining, isn't it? Very much, yes. Yeah, because this one still has, so we're just going to tie it off here. Okay. Okay. There we go. Nice work. You know, just like a little, little thing. But now that lining, when they open it, isn't going to be like dangling. Open, right? Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, oh, great. First thing you see, you got to fix. You know. There was a little flaw in the pants, which I am mildly worried about. Look at that. Look at that. Now nice. we're not flapping around. I think it's still flapping over here, but. It was not nearly as bad. I'm not yeah. going to look. Don't let me look. Don't look. So, yeah, get these sewing kits. Get a, get yourself some little, you know, little resources that are free. Look, here's another one I have. And they come with little buttons. I just dropped a snap. It's great. Mm -hmm. Another 
been. Yeah, I lost a couple of buttons on the way when I was. <laughs> out here, out of coma. Oh my god, this thing is so heavy. Good lord. Yeah. Take this? I will. It's got like a seal thing. I know, but it's like flappy. <clears throat> like, you know, it's going to get caught in the screen. Okay. Oh. Where'd that box go? Huh? Did you move a regional A box? Thank you. I'm going to try to. Oh, I just didn't fit in here earlier. There it goes. <clears throat> so if you're just getting started with eBay, you really can do this. Start small. You won't have 15 orders to ship out. Just have one to tackle a day for a bit. And you'll figure it out. We're always here if you have questions. We're definitely not like the most professional professionals on eBay, but hmm. we've been doing it a while. Four years. Gotta count for something. Something. All right, you ready? I'm ready. Ready. Spiritual gangster. Tomorrow's the day we decided to do the ticket video. Uh oh, ticket video coming. We use a ticketing system. It's made up from our brains. Escondar pants. So is it the best? I don't know. Right there. But it's what we do, and some of y'all want to know. Some of you have adopted the ticket system. Uh oh. Which is pretty special and awesome. Yeah. Okay, so, okay. Eileen Fisher tote. Right here. Eileen Fisher coral tunic. There you here go. we go. Yeah, we're not here to tell you what to do. We're just showing everybody what works for us. And yeah. not everything that works for us is going to work for you. Trust me, we've tried everybody's everything. <laughs> Yes. And there are uh, some things that just do not work for Skylanders. us. Skylanders. So, oh, Skylanders. So, I mean, that is, that's the, that's the truth. You gotta just try different things. Because your brain's different, right? Some people just process things a different way. Equinox I'm very different. t-shirt. Who, Equinox? Yep. Puppet Company. Puppet? Right there, eight by six by four. Oh. Why do we always say the same? We need to have a name for this box. We're always like eight by six by four. <laughs> say every dimension of the box. <laughs> what? Oh, this yeah. needs to be a regional C or something. <laughs> <laughs> this is Seinfeld box. Man, this thing is so heavy. I need to reinforce the bottom as well. I'm gonna do that before you take it. Okay, postmark sweater or shirt thing. Alfred Dunner. If you don't know what a Peter Pan collar is, look it up right now. Go to Google, type it in. Because it is something, if you find it, that you can put in your title and people search for that specifically. It's a very cute, like, Zoe de Chanel kind of look. Uh, the Peep. Good Smash. film. Doc McStuffins. <laughs> Trench coat. Do not. Do not. Okay, this is the leisure suit.
Excellent. Okay, if you need more help with shipping, always feel free to ask below, but also we have a playlist called The Daily Grind, and it's three months of us shipping. Right. Everything three solid, solid months. Yeah. So then you can follow along, and I think it'll be really helpful just to have it on in the background. Right. You guys gonna go check in with Mojo? We're gonna do it. All I'm, right. I'm running to the post office. It's time for the moment with Mojo. You just waking up? What are you doing? Say hi to all your millions of fans. <laughs> all right, well, I gotta run to the post office. I'll see you in a few minutes, okay? Bye. Good right, boy. Good boy. Yo. Hi. Hey, how's it going? Okay. All right. We sold 15 items today. Total sales revenue of $755. Okay, that's pretty decent. And a total profit of $468.74 for you know today. What? I'll take that. I will a, too. On a Tuesday. Let's check in on our Wednesday. month. <laughs> Let's do that. Yes. It is April, today when you're watching this, it's April 13th, so we're about two weeks into the month. Okay. We have sold 145 items for a total profit of $3,255, and that puts us right on track. It does. We're trying to get to 6,000 profit per month so that we can pay our bills. <laughs> I mean, really, though. Yeah. Really. Guys, thank you so much for hanging out with us. Um, join us tonight on the live listing over on the other channel, which is linked down below. Yes. Um, 7.30 p.m. tonight. Central. Central. We'll see you there. Bye. Bye.